to be prepared is half the victory. Too much sanity may be madness and the maddest of all, to see life as it is and not as it should be. The eyes those silent tongues of love. In order to attain the impossible, one must attempt the absurd. One man scorned and covered with scars still strove with his last ounce of courage to reach the unreachable stars, and the world will be better for this. He who loses wealth loses much, he who loses a friend loses more, but he that loses his courage loses all. Diligence is the mother of good fortune, and idleness, its opposite, never brought a man to the goal of any of his best wishes. Our hours in love have wings, in absence, crutches. Forewarned, forearmed, to be prepared is half the victory. Truth will rise above falsehood as oil above water. Delay always breeds danger, and to protract a great design is often to ruin it. Never stand begging for that which you have the power to earn. Those who play with cats must expect to be scratched. The knowledge of yourself will preserve you from vanity. That's the nature of women, not to love when we love them, and to love when we love them not. Fear has many eyes and can see things underground. Love and war are the same thing, and stratagems and policy are as allowable in the one as in the other. Laziness never arrived at the attainment of a good wish. Truth may be stretched, but cannot be broken, and always gets above falsehood, as does oil above water. A proverb is a short sentence based on long experience. The gratification of wealth is not found in mere possession or in lavish expenditure, but in its wise application. Drink moderately, for drunkenness neither keeps a secret, nor observes a promise. Our greatest foes, and whom we must chiefly combat, are within. To withdraw is not to run away, and to stay is no wise action, when there's more reason to fear than to hope. Tell me thy company, and I'll tell thee what thou art. Pray look better, sir. Those things yonder are no giants, but windmills. The bow cannot always stand bent, nor can human frailty subsist without some lawful recreation. There's no taking trout with dry breeches. Every man is the son of his own works. Man appoints, and God disappoints. From reading too much, and sleeping too little, his brain dried up on him and he lost his judgment. I do not say a proverb is amiss when aptly and reasonably applied, but to be forever discharging them, right or wrong, hit or miss, renders conversation insipid and vulgar. God bears with the wicked, but not forever. It is one thing to praise discipline, and another to submit to it. It seldom happens that any felicity comes so pure as not to be tempered and delayed by some mixture of sorrow. Valor lies just halfway between rashness and cowardice. Fair and softly goes far. I believe there's no proverb but what is true, they are also many sentences and maxims drawn from experience, the universal mother of sciences. A private sin is not so prejudicial in this world, as a public indecency. Modesty, tis a virtue not often found among poets, for almost every one of them thinks himself the greatest in the world. There is no greater folly in the world than for a man to despair. Proverbs or short sentences drawn from long experience. There are only two families in the world, my old grandmother used to say, the haves and the have-nots. There is also this benefit in brag, that the speaker is unconsciously expressing his own ideal. Humor him by all means, draw it all out, and hold him to it. The most difficult character in comedy is that of the fool, and he must be no simpleton that plays that part. Well, there's a remedy for all things but death, which will be sure to lay us flat one time or other. No fathers or mothers think their own children ugly. Truth indeed rather alleviates than hurts, and will always bear up against falsehood, as oil does above water. I have always heard, Sancho, that doing good to base fellows is like throwing water into the sea. Good actions ennoble us, and we are the sons of our deeds. Tis the only comfort of the miserable to have partners in their woes.